So I just finished making this genus trouser, as you can see. I will show you guys something very important in this video if you pay closer attention to it. At that belt loop, as you can see, most of the time when I'm um, sewing my belt loop on top of the waist, sometimes the thread used to like cut. So I want to show you guys this simple trick to avoid. So I'm going to show you how to stitch it under your waistband, step by step. So if you enjoyed the video, this is going to actually change a lot and make work easier for you. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumb up. And if you're yet to subscribe to this channel, make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified when I upload more video. Let's get straight into the video. So right here, as you can see, after you fold your waistband and you put your belt loop under your waistband, before you put your ready-made waistband on the waist side, the very first thing you're going to do is to stitch it to the to the trouser on this one i'll be sewing in half of an inch let me focus this very well so that you can see i'll be sewing in half of an inch just like a normal base strap normal base belt loop so i'll be sewing half of an inch i want you guys to pay attention and i will advise you to watch this video to the end to understand exactly what i'm doing so I'm just going to see you half of an inch right here. So I'm going to fold it over. Over the waistband. You can see that. Make sure your hand is very straight. And make sure the waistband is very, very straight. You can see that. Make sure it's straight. So you're going to sew it to the upper part. That line at the top of the, uh, at the, top of the waistband is for the waistband. That, uh, the ready-made waistband. To fold it inside so you guys are going to see what i'm about to do here so you're seeing that i'm just going to cut that out so i'm going to do this to all the belt loop on the trouser as you can see i'll be sewing in half of an inch can see that and on this side also I'll be sewing half of an inch okay just fold your strap up fold it up and make sure it is very very straight so we'll be tacking into the upper part of the waist. You can see that. It's a very, very simple trick and it's going to make your work look more neater and more mature and more simpler and more professional view. <laughs> so right here, I'll be sewing in half of an inch at this side or so. So half of an inch. If you are enjoying this video so far, make sure you give it a like. That like is just one like button under this video. And make sure you subscribe if you're here to subscribe. You can see what I'm doing here. So make sure your hand is straight. I'll be cutting this out. So fold the best strap up. Some people call it best strap and some people call it a loop, a belt loop. Whichever you call it, fold it up. I'll be using loop on this one because I think loop is more common. So you're going to fold your belt loop up. You can see that. So the next thing we're going to do now is to stitch our waistband. So firstly, I'll measure my waist. My waist measurement on the first side of the trouser, you can see here I have 24, that's for the extension. But on this one, I'm not going to use the extension because it's chinos. So I'll be taking my waistband, you can see that, and I'll be measuring my waist measurement on it. So I'm going to cut it out. I believe you guys can see this. It's a very, very simple video that you can follow step by step and achieve exactly the same thing 
if not better. So the next thing I'll be doing now is I will sew this to the waist. You can see. You can see that. Make sure your hand is straight. And make sure you're using exactly the same color of the best strap, which is white, so that it won't be obvious and your work will look more neater. So here, you can see that. You can see that. You can see. can see that it's a very very simple trick so so far this is what we're going to have and if you look at your belt strap just like that you can see that the belt strap is very neat and it's very simple to achieve and at the inside you can see what we have so that's about that's it on this video so far i hope you guys have learned something new and if you've understand this process before it's obviously awesome so I'll see you guys in my next video. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're to subscribe. I'll see you on my next video. Peace.